Hi everybody, uh, this is Avenue Media Weekly. Today we're hosting Melis from, from Big Data Scoring, co-founder of Big Data Scoring. I'd like to ask you a few mm -hmm. questions about your startup. What are you doing in Big Data Scoring? We provide credit scoring services, okay. meaning that we predict whether somebody is going to repay their loan or not, so very simply put. This kind of data is not as easy to obtain as any different data, right? It's scoring, so it's in banking, so it should be really safe, right? Yes. And, and How do you obtain your data to create analytics? Or analytics? So we are a service provider. Okay. Uh, we provide the service to banks. Mm -hmm. uh, banks have this data internally available. Okay. Uh, so we are just a company that uh, analyzes the data that they have internally available, but then we've developed some some tricks mm -hmm. uh, to to search for external data. Okay. Um, and, a, and a simple example of this external data would be that if I know where you live, mm -hmm. or I know what your email address is, okay. or your phone number, uh, then there's certain publicly available data or semi-publicly available data that I can attach to that. Okay. All right, so, so this is the part of, of big data uh, that we are, uh, we are bringing to our customers to enhance or improve on the data that they already internally have available. It should be a benefit, okay. uh, especially for customers that uh, banks don't know. So for example, if you are going to a bank, you are, uh, let's say, a young mm -hmm. um, person in their 20s, maybe starting their first job, uh, doesn't have a credit card yet, uh, then it's very difficult for for a bank or yeah, any other company to to, you, yeah, right? to provide you a line of credit. Maybe even get a phone mm -hmm. or uh, yeah or a loan or or, or whatever. So uh, in that case, it's actually a benefit. Uh, okay. To be able to find data about individuals that's otherwise publicly available, but the banks don't know or don't know how to access. So that. you're like a, in a business of predictions, right? Yes. So we've developed uh, or delivered projects. Um, in nearly 30 countries. Okay. So from New Zealand, Latin America, even Africa, okay. Middle East. This year we are delivering over 100 million credit scores to our customers. So in, in that sense, yes, we are already processing quite large uh, volumes of transactions. So in terms of processing this much information in different countries, how do you uh, deal with, I don't know, privacy or legal? We follow the regulations that are mm -hmm. in place and, and I think Europe is a good place for us to, to operate because here we typically have the strictest mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, rules, um, if you think globally. Um, so we, everything we do works within the framework of the um, data privacy and, and personal data processing framework that the EU has set. Okay. Um, so we're in compliance with all the local directives and that gives us a pretty good, let's say, starting point globally. Because typically if we go outside of the EU, then, then the... Everything the, changes and then you have more freedom? Or? Actually more freedom, typically. Okay. Typically yeah. more freedom. Okay, so and one of the questions that we like here in this show is, what is the biggest challenge for you and your industry or maybe your company in particular in the next know, one, two or three years? The biggest challenge is finding, well, actually not finding, I think the biggest challenge lies within the banks. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say the incumbent large banks to open up internally to start working with companies mm -hmm. such as ours. Like a third party company, yes. right? To outsource something that uh, they consider sort of critically internal, critical internal processes to a third party. But do you think it's a it's a case of trust or it's a case of technology or g meeting good people? It's a case of trust. Um, it's a case of changing some mindsets mm -hmm. about, you know, not kind of building up borders and, and, and walls around your organization mm -hmm. because that will ultimately I think lead to their demise. Okay. So I think I think the, the biggest challenge lies with, with okay, okay, we're, I'm trying to sell this solution to them and tell them, hey guys, open up and mm -hmm. you need to be more open. But they're ultimately the ones who need to make that change to to um, working more and more and uh, with companies such as ours, not only in, in the space of credit scoring, but every other uh, yeah, because as well. Right now, this digital transformation and working with startups are very hot topic and. 
even big banks and big corporations are looking for a new innovative solutions. Right? It, it's a hot topic, but uh, I would luckily now in the last years we're getting further than just talking about it okay. to <laughs> actually doing something. <laughs> doing sense, but yeah. I think there's a lot more that can be all, that can still be done in the actual doing part instead of just um, just talking about things. So okay, so. I think that's a good finishing point. Thanks mm -hmm. for uh, for being here and answering our questions. And good luck with your company and your Thank setup. You. Thank you. Thank you.